Hello. Hey, Seth. Hey, Mary. How are you? What's up? Are you going to watch the big game this Sunday? <laughs> Can you be more specific? I don't know. There's some really big, big game. Big game. On I'm not, oh, you mean the one that it, it rhymes with like group or hole? <laughs> Or, or Moop or Schmoll. <laughs> <laughs> we're not actually allowed to say the name of the big game to which we're referring to because oh, apparently stupid. there's a policy in place that the NFL, if you say it, will potentially send large men after you to uh, steal your wallet. So we're not going to mention the name of the big game to which we're referring, though I think everyone knows what we're talking about. Oh. I feel like I'm going to – I think this, this year what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a thing where we're all going to be sitting around watching the big game, and I'm going to see if we can – It'll be a contest if who can make it through the game without actually saying the forbidden phrase, um, which is now I'm going to I'll use Booper Soul as my uh, <laughs> so who can who can make it through the game without actually saying Booper Soul, <laughs> and they'll win something. That's a good game. I think that's something fun. Speaking of football, uh, let's call Dalmar Abazid, who plays Danny. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, yeah. Who plays Danny? On Degrassi, because we've never talked to him, and he's been on for a while. And he plays football on the show. That was finishing your segue there. Yeah. Speaking of football. It totally made sense. <laughs> and also, we've got this thing. We've got that quiz on the site about what big game snack are you, what booper soul snack are you. <laughs> and, um, oh, my God. Can we change the title to booper soul? <laughs> <laughs> and so we thought we would talk to him and find out what – Booper soul the snack he actually is. Okay. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. Because we've never done that. All right. All right, let's call. Hello? Hey, it's Mary and Seth from the end.com. Hey, hey guys. How you doing? I'm okay. I'm just kicking it. Yeah. Just what, me. What does kicking it consist of? Is it like video games kicking it, or um kicking it consists of a slow Pretty slow morning. I'm just making my breakfast. Um, about to turn on some music or something. I don't know. Kicking it's all like on the fly. Okay, I, I will note that it's not morning anymore. <laughs> true, true. That's, that might be true. That's, that's a very slow morning, though. That's why I said slow morning. <laughs> Wait, um, what's for breakfast and what are you listening to music wise? Uh, what's for breakfast is eggs and waffles and probably bacon. Nice. Wow. And, you know, uh, and music, uh, you just. Pop open the iTunes. Probably some some Earth, Wind, and Fire. I really like I really like funk. Nice. Funk and soul. Oh my god, that rules. <laughs> you yeah. know, it just occurred to me that if starting every day off with dancing in September would would really be a good idea, that I could see that would improve my life. Yes. <laughs> and not being in a rush helps. Always yeah, helps. Totally. And having bacon nearby helps everything yep. all the time. <laughs> Arms reach. Arms reach always. <laughs> um. So, all right, we got questions for you because we've never talked to you before. And sure, exciting. sure. Um, w like, what's your friendship like with Sarah Barable Tishauer? Like, having played her little brother for so long. And um, so I was I've been on the show for five years, mm -hmm. and when wow. I first got on the show, um, Sarah Ryan plays JT, Jake plays Toby. They were all really funny, really nice. Um, and just this summer, I got the chance to uh, travel to Ecuador mm -hmm. with Sarah Bearable Tishauer, and she holds the title for the funniest girl, probably <laughs> that I know. Really? Uh, she's so she's so like just down to earth, focused. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and always like always like easy to feel comfortable around and 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 do scenes with because I find that you know if you're comfortable with you, with your fellow actors, then you can make a scene come to life that much more easily. Totally. And, so she's is always, she funny like is you laugh with her, or is she funny like you laugh at her because she falls down? You her? laugh with her. If she's if she's going to make a joke about you, you probably laugh at yourself. She's that funny. Like, yeah. she's, she's so funny. Anything she says, basically, she wants to be funny. She can also be, like, very smart. Yeah, very um, smart. I was going to say, she's got, like, one of those fast brains, and that does kind of make someone funny because they can... Yeah, like, like a sharp them. mind that you just never want to test. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's right. I forgot that she hadn't gone to Kenya. Like, even though she had uh, connections with that organization, like, there was a conflict or something. Because you were one yeah, of the few cast members who went to both Ecuador and Kenya, right? Yes, I am. And uh, w I remember in the Kenya episode, that, or the Kenya special, you mentioned that... Um, 
Like you had family members from there, or? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I spent the first few years of my life uh, in Kenya. Oh wow! My mom had a bunch of friends because my mom worked in the UN, and so she was uh, she was all over like uh, different countries in Africa, and so she had a lot of friends in Kenya, and wow. so I had my first birthday there. I took my first steps there, <gasps> and then almost like magically. When we came to Canada, I used to speak Swahili. That's, that's the language they speak there. Uh-huh. And I used to speak it fluently with, like, all the kids on, in my neighborhood. And we used to have, like, games of soccer. And I was probably good. I don't know. But, um, right, because Kenya. Yeah. Totally. Kenya. And then I came to Canada. And for the life of me, like, when I went back to Kenya, I, I thought, maybe I'll have an edge on the, on the Swahili. Because we took Swahili classes. Uh-huh. And I thought, maybe I'll be able to speak Swahili uh, a little. It'll, be, it'll come easy to me. But like nothing was coming back to me. The only thing that made me feel like I was that I was comfortable is that it's, some of the places like I kind of had a, a image of, of Kenya in my mind. And when we went there, uh-huh. uh, the sites weren't too like they weren't too like uh, new to me. Like I had some familiar vibe going through me. That's so wild that like it's because you said you were three when you left there. Uh yeah. That's so wild that none of the language stuck around. I totally would have thought that. And I used to speak it fluently. Like, I used to, you know what I mean? Like, I I was living in Kenya, and then all of that, uh, just suddenly it's like I'm a different person. Oh, man. Uh, Maybe it's because I learned another language, though. I don't know. Yeah. The stuff you saw there seemed familiar, even though you hadn't seen it. Yeah. That's really incredible that just, like, it still was there somewhere locked in your brain. Exactly, yeah. That's why, because we would ride around. We would drive a lot of places, and it was, like, Sometimes we'd be in the lorry for like hours, and I could just stare outside and not say a word. It was, it was awesome. Totally. So okay, when you mentioned that you've been on the show for five years, it's kind of like blows my mind a little bit. Huge, yeah, long. Yeah, and because I guess because like you were, you were just sort of like little brother character when you first got on there, and now they've like transitioned you into like the hot football quarterback guy. <laughs> this, this has been like the biggest year, yeah. Yeah. Did did they have like a conversation with you where they sat you down and they were like, So Delmar, we've noticed that you're a hottie now and we thought we'd like to expand that aspect of your role. I think I think they had that conversation but I wasn't in the room. Oh man. And they were just like, All right, go tell 'em <laughs> And then like and I didn't even know what was going on, they were just like, Come, you're getting a haircut and I was like, oh, Okay. I don't normally get haircuts before the season starts. So that's okay, don't worry about it. Um, then they're like, "Come, you're going to wardrobe." I was like, "Wardrobe? <laughs> what is this?" And it was it was funny too because I was doing exams at school. We had two weeks of just pure exams, and on the very last days when I was called into set for all this like makeover and and amazing things, and when I got to set, they like they put a camera in my face. They're like, "All right, this is Dalmar's makeover. It's going to be a webisode." I was like, "What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not even my birthday till like you know what I mean? The end of the season." So I was like, "What's going on?" They're like, "Don't worry about it." And <laughs> Slowly, as the season passed, I started to realize, well, yeah, they've turned me into this really cool guy. And at the read throughs too, when we were reading the scripts, I was just like, my eyes were, like, wide open. I didn't blink a lot. <laughs> it's uh, so funny. So they, they just kind of, like, they're like, yeah, we'll just, we'll just change him. We won't really you know tell I mean? him we're changing him. <laughs> I kind of liked it. It just made for, like, an endless stream of surprises. Yeah, totally. Well, what about, like, are you friends with Mark Donato in real life? Yeah, yeah. I've actually been trying to uh, get a hold of him. We're... He's probably kicking it somewhere. I'm probably kicking it somewhere. We're both like lazy guys. Uh, when he comes, yeah, when he comes to the to the area where I live, we normally get up together with Jamie, and we like hit up like some soccer fields and play some soccer. Oh man. Uh, yeah. We, I just gotta stand, I just gotta call him and just be like, All right, let's do it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like. Right. No planning. Kind of. Yeah. No planning. We're on the fly. You can't. You can't plan a kickback. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know it. Where did the whole Danny Derrick thing come from? Was that just a writer's thing that they invented, or did they like note that you guys had some sort of chemistry together and said, "All right, we gotta, we gotta exploit this"? I think it was, yeah. I think it was the note on the chemistry, and also they saw our hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Twins. Yeah. And they like spawn these uh, mini webisodes, Danny and Derrick uh, dating for dudes. Oh my god! I and they just it. had so much fun with it, and so did we. <laughs> But uh, I think that's where it came from, yeah, just the chemistry. We would have laughs on set, uh, and we could just make the funny, I guess. Totally. So um, anything you can tell us about, like, what's coming up for Danny in the near future or distant future? What's coming up for Danny in the near future? Well, um, so I can say that uh, not necessarily in the immediate future, um, there is some romance 
coming coming Danny's way. Nice. Um, there's also going to be that chance to see where uh, Danny and Derek stand um, at this point. There's going to be a hair off. Uh, because we've seen, yeah, we've seen that <laughs> a hair off, a hair off. Uh, we've seen that like Danny's gone and supported Jane, whereas Derek's kind of never wanted her there, and uh, so we, we've never really like done and had any confrontations or anything. But we'll see where we stand. Right. Uh, not necessarily in the immediate future, but and romance, all that stuff mixed up. Anyone we know already, or is it gonna be a new girl, or what? Anyone we know? Uh, uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. You guys know her. I won't. I won't press you for details. <laughs> Um, so we were thinking about trying something new with you. I'm sure you're thrilled. <laughs> we, you know, we have all these quizzes on our website and we realized we've never like made one of our talent, like take one of our quizzes <laughs> okay. live. So we're going to make you take the quiz. What big game snack are you? Yeah, it's about, it's about if you were, this is, it's all, it's all very meta. If you were a snack that you would eat while watching the game, what snack would you be? Not necessarily what snack should you eat, but what snack are you as a... As a human being. Yeah. What <laughs> snack am I as a human being? <laughs> All, All right. right. But uh, there's but well, there's several questions here, so so we'll okay. we'll be able to determine this based on your answers. All right, I'll go first. Um, you're in the stands during the big game, and the opposing team's fans start a funny chant about your favorite player's inability to score. Okay. You will... A, start a nastier, louder chant about how much their team sucks. B, boo, boo, or C, laugh. The chant was funny, right? Um, okay, so I'd watch my surroundings, so I wouldn't do A. Okay. Because I could be, like, in a section of, uh, of the stadium that's, like, entirely the other team. <laughs> yep. Um, and it's just me. Uh-huh. Um, what was, what was option C again? C was laugh because it was, because it's laugh, like, a funny chant. No. Not aiding the enemy. I would okay. boo. Okay. I would so. boo like arrogantly. I, I wish <laughs> Natty Zavitz would be beside me because Natty Zavitz can boo like nobody's business. Really? It is honestly the funniest thing to watch. Oh my god! Okay. I would be inspired. <laughs> uh, okay, next question. You're watching the big game at home when the ref makes a questionable call in the other team's favor. You a question it loudly, angrily, and repeatedly at the TV. B mm -hmm. say, ah, oh, no way. Or C just shrug it off. Hmm. I would not just shrug it off. I'm, I'm a little louder than that. Um, I'd probably just, yeah, I'd probably just be like, oh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay. Probably ask all a quick right. question like, who is this guy? Maybe he's a fake ref or something. I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. That's all. I, a, a really totally non sequitur question just occurred to me. That this is like American football, and you guys play like on on Degrassi, like you guys are playing American football. Do they play American football in Canada? Okay. Uh, yes, we have. Yeah, we do. The, okay. Well, not American football. We have the CFL, the Canadian Football League. Okay. And getting ready for like uh, the 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 days of, of football, they actually called in one of the players from the CFL, and I just practiced with them for days on end. And also, there was a uh, one of the guys on set, one of the ADs, uh, assistant directors, mm -hmm. um, is a was an old football coach. So whenever I had a chance, I would just get together with him, and he'd be like, "Practice your throw. Right. Practice your footwork." Practice this, practice that. Okay. Um, I'm sorry if that was a stupid question. I just <laughs> when we get off the phone, I'll explain the detail, <laughs> the detailed differences between Canadian football and American football. I will be castigated, yeah. I'm sure. All right. All right. <laughs> Next question. You're reaching over to snag the last brownie when someone else grabs it off the snack table. How do you react? A, I don't. He, she probably didn't notice I was going for it. B, hey, I was about to grab that. Want to split it? Or C, you know, in some countries they might cut your hand off for that. Mm, I, I want to say that I'd do, like, I'd make a scene, but I would probably, knowing me, I would probably just be like, okay, they didn't see me. <laughs> and just turn around and, like, sulk back to my chair and hopefully forget it. Okay, I want to okay. say that I'd make a scene. I want to say that I'd, like, point him out and be like, thief! Or something like no, that, but... No, no. We've got to deal with reality here. Really, yeah. If you really want a, a truthful, uh, accurate evaluation of what snack food you are, you've got to be real. Yeah, yeah. You've got to be real. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ready for that. All right, you're supposed to meet up with some friends today for an old-school kickball game in the park, but it's raining. You'll A, play on, a little mud won't hurt us. B, hmm, I'll be secretly psyched if we cancel, but if everyone else is up for it, I guess I'll still go. Or C, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> this is, this is strangely strike. appropriate for what we were just talking about. C, do you have any idea how long it takes me to get my hair to look like this? <laughs> no, I'll cancel. <laughs> um, what would I do? Uh, there's a, there's a, it's raining, like, like heavily raining. Yeah, I sure. think so. 
I would probably, I like the secretly psyched thing. Okay. Because <laughs> re- I'm like that and so, even if it wasn't raining and I was just, I woke up or something and I was like, I don't want to go anywhere today. I'd probably pull the secretly psyched thing and hope that like nobody else wants to go, but I would go if, if um, everybody else wanted to. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, um, next question. If you go over to a friend's house to watch the game and a pizza box is sitting on the living room floor, you'll A, feel kind of skeeved. Shouldn't someone pick that up? B, get a little hungry. I wonder if there's any left in there. Or C, figure they're having a busy week. Everyone's messy once in a while. Um, I would think that everybody's having a – gets messy. Uh, having a busy week it gets messy once in a while. Okay. Although I get messy all the time. <laughs> and, uh, so, like – there would be three pizza boxes if someone came over to watch a game on the floor. Um, but yeah, I'd probably just yeah, just brush it off like nothing, no big deal. Yeah, okay. tolerant of other people's messes. All right. All right, last, last question here. If you could have any one of these in your hand during a big game, you'd pick A, a can of silly string in my team's color, score score it every time they score, B, a label maker, <laughs> a label maker so I can label everyone's cups, no more which one's mine, or C, the remote, that's where all the power is. Um, okay, sorry, A was what again? A can of silly string in your team's color. In my team's color and swing it when, okay, and B was the label maker? Yeah. Yes, to label the cups. I could have way too much fun with the label maker. I think I would pick that. <laughs> but not label cups. I would put, like, labels on people I don't like. You know what I mean? Like, not part of the game, loser, right. or something <laughs> like that. I'd, I'd have way too much fun with the labels. <laughs> like, finding places to put them, clever places. Now, wait, for an accurate diagnosis, Seth, does that mean that he's actually A and not B because he'd have he'd have fun with it? No, he picked B. All no, right. no, no, manipulating the results here, Mary. I uh, already okay. No, I'm so, <laughs> all right. This I've clicked the get evaluated button here, and are, are okay. Are, are you prepared to know what big game snack you are? Yes. Because <laughs> this could be a shock to you. You are pizza bites. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Just quick and, okay. and efficient. Oh, I like that. Okay. <laughs> As snacks go, you're full of contradictions. Sometimes a pizza bite feels warm to the touch, then you sink your teeth in, and the sauce inside is tongue-burning hot. Like a pizza bite's temperature, you're hard to predict. Sometimes you're a little saucy or a little cheesy, and sometimes you've got a temper. You do cool off fast, but sometimes you're best handled with a bit of caution and probably a napkin until people know what kind of mood you're in. Wow. (laughs) Wow. Is it, like, eerily accurate? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> I'm content. I, I, I like that. You're like, I've never understood myself so well. In <laughs> yes. God. So that's an analogy. I like it. Pizza bites are so mercurial. I never knew. <laughs> wow. So much. It'll make me look at them differently. <laughs> that's right. so true. All right. Well, I'm glad we could uh, be of help this week. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Perform this public service for Delmar. Um, thank you so much for talking to us. And, yeah, uh, thanks a lot, guys. And we'll talk to you again soon. All right, See you. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so now the thing here, Mary, is that not only should, not only should you probably know that there is a Canadian Football League, we've talked about it on this podcast at least, <gasps> I think, probably three times. Wait, really? I think probably. Really? Yeah. I, I know we talked no about it with Jay Goldsby, and I think I even mentioned it once when we were talking to Shanae, and yeah. Oh, man. I guess it kind of goes to show like how little I care about non non Eagles football, non Eagles football, because um I think it just goes in one ear and out the other when I'm not like really paying. I just always had this idea that like football worldwide is soccer and like when you say American football it's like, you know, Booper Soul football. But uh <laughs> Yeah, no, the Canadians know. have their their version of American football. Do any other countries play play our our traditional game of football? Um that's a long story that I think we can save for another day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for edging me. You're Mr. welcome. Seth. Have a good have a good Booper Soul Sunday. You too. Enjoy <laughs> it. Way to podcast. Way to podcast, sorry. Bye. Bye.